replacing a battery on a uh, laptop. It's a, uh, an Acer Spin 3. I already ordered the battery. It came in the, uh, surprisingly, it comes in the regular post office mail, even though it's a lithium battery. Uh, but I guess that's okay. Uh, so first I already removed the uh, uh, screws uh, all along the back. There are several screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, you don't really need this. Um, actually, uh, you have my regular screwdriver, and this is a ten in one. And uh, there's uh, Phillips right here, P1. You know, the, the one that you usually use for uh, a variety of uh, household projects is P2. This is a little smaller, P1. Actually fits on these tiny little screws. What was, where is it? Very tiny. So the next step, is to uh, pry off the uh, back cover and um, I started here that there appeared to be uh, actually here uh, was easy to just I started with the uh, uh, flathead screwdriver but I said well that's not a good idea because uh, this is plastic and I'm going to uh, cause some damage. So uh, what I found, I'm going to try to use, is this. Patch and paint, comes with a little plastic putty knife. And so I figured that's not gonna do any damage. And so you're supposed to work your way along here and unsnap it. The problem with these things is, for me, I never know, am I supposed to pull a little harder? Uh, or, if I pull a little harder, am I uh, going to uh, break it, you know? So uh, that's always a dilemma. But uh, I watch some videos and uh, uh, this is what they say to do. And so that's what I do. And it seems to be coming apart nicely. It's coming around very nicely. And uh, as the sound of uh, the snaps unsnapping and not everything breaking, hopefully. Never done this before. And this is the last part. And voila, it's off. And now we have the is right here. And this is the hard drive. And so there are screws, two screws, to remove the battery. Uh, take my gigantic screwdriver with the P1 and see, it works very well. little thing, Harbor, Harbor Freight had a sale, one dollar, very nice. And so this is a little smaller than the other screws, so I'm just gonna push these other screws aside over here. Take the other screw out. Uh, both 
screws are removed. Now we'll lift this right up. Um, by the way, uh, um, I always like to uh, find a uh, wall uh, outlet or a switch and I just uh, touch one of the screws to uh, drain any static electricity uh, on me. Some people actually work with some kind of band on them, uh, professionals. So this is the, uh, and here it is, it comes off, but uh, we have uh, uh, here, uh, right, right here, uh, all the wires are coming from the battery to this, uh, oh, that's the screw, to this uh, plug here. And so I'm just going to uh, unplug it. And I just pushed on the side and pulled it out and uh, voila, there's the old battery. Okay, take the new battery. And uh, remove it from the box. Nicely packaged. Here's a new battery. And uh, it says, uh, do not squeeze or stab the battery. And uh, keep away from dropping. Otherwise, it will lead to leakage or fire. So I'm not going to drop. And so uh, it looks like a good fit. Old one, new one, everything looks okay. And so I'm just going to uh, put it back. I should have uh, noticed whether it went in this way or this way. Um, you could probably, now I notice here that there's a bevel on one side. So um, I'm assuming that if I'm trying to put it in the wrong way that it just won't fit. Because it's always supposed to go in one way, and uh, there we go. Went in very nicely. I was lucky on my first shot to get it in, and uh, something tells me that uh, this was here, right? Okay, so that it just didn't seem right, and now this is nice. Here's a little fan that must be the CPU. Hard drive. And, uh, and that's it. We put back the uh, tiny little screws. Okay, got one in. Don't tighten it all the way yet. It's always a good practice to just put anything you're putting together. That was a close one. Imagine dropping something tiny like this.
nice and snug, but not too tight. Don't want to strip anything or crack anything. And uh, we're good to go. Now put the cover back on. To remember how exactly this went. So this on this side. Okay. And then you should just everything just snap back in and seems to be happening yes nicely nice and uh, It's lighting up, the uh, name is coming up, Acer, and uh, I'm gonna test it later and uh, follow the protocol for uh, uh, charging up the battery. I'm sure there's some kind of protocol when you buy a battery to, you know, charge it up and then uh, uh, let it discharge, you know, use it all the way down a couple of times to kind of break it in. So uh, then, uh, one of these days I gotta, yeah. you know, if I would have uh, thought about it, instead of handling this big bulky screwdriver for each screw and uh, doing this, maybe my screwdriver was trying to tell me something. Say, hey, you know, why don't you just handle it this way? like a pen, it's a lot more convenient. And you know, for these tiny screws, I usually kind of hold them on the side like this so that they don't fall out. Uh, there is some magnetism here, but you know, sometimes you can't rely, you just tap it a little and it, and it falls out. Uh, but yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's nice. So yeah, my screwdriver, uh, I guess he was uh, trying to tell me something. Say, uh, you know, you could uh, use it, uh, uh, just use this one piece. It's a lot easier. So, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, have a nice day.